Hello, welcome to Simulated Heaven. This is a very, this is a very interesting game. It's called International Snooker. It is listed under the Simulator Game um, section of Gamersgate. So I thought, hey, it must be a simulator game then. So I'm gonna play it a little bit on this channel. It, um, it's very interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting that. Um, you get to um, play this kind of game. I used to love playing the, the snooker games from the 90s. I think it started with Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker and then they made loads of games very similar to that the next few years. And this has been the first game for a long time that, that have actually they've actually tried to do these kind of games because I think the, that series I was talking about ended with World Snooker Challenge or something like that and unfortunately that game sucked pretty hard um, so I kinda miss the Jimmy White Whirlwind Snooker. I used to love playing that game on my Amiga back in the day. So this was the thing that piqued my interest. And I've seen so many pool and snooker games on the PC in the past five to ten years, which people, you know, have said are really bad, not very good, blah blah blah. Now this was the first game I've seen for ages where someone reviewed it and actually said it was a good game. And it looks pretty good. Like the graphics, of course, the graphics are not going to be that great on us snooker simulator game but as you can see I quite like the graphics kinda simple kinda high res I mean of course they can't afford to have all the various like um, oh good shot oh there's a crowd oh that's cool that you have a crowd I have to say I'm gonna to get totally owned by the way but they obviously I don't think they have any like licensed players or any licensed anything the table seems really fast <laughs> to, there is actually a setting in the menu to be honest where you can set the um, speed of the table maybe I need to adjust that but yeah for this I mean the game cost me 14.99 US so that is not a lot of money really is it so Oh, that was too soft. Oh, and he's going to get a pot. Damn it. So, it just really piqued my interest that someone made one of these games again and that, the well, there was only one review on Gamersgate, the gate, but the guy was saying it's a good game. And from, I mean, straight away, it's basically a carbon copy of, like, Jimmy White's, but with slightly updated graphics, um, which, to be honest... I'm totally happy with that. I am so happy with that. Because I love that game. I really did love that game so much. And, you know, I'm always on the lookout. Oh, that was too soft. Oh, no, actually. Oh, I missed anyway. Wow, I'm going to lose pretty bad here. Oh, why didn't he go for that shot? I think he's giving me a chance. I think he realizes I'm a noob. But if I do really like this game, then, wow, this is going to give me some real enjoyment here I can imagine playing a lot you know oh I forgot to chalk my cue I think it's kind of cool though that you have to actually chalk your cue that's good you know so far so good really so far so good look at this oh and I missed I need to practice <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to finish the entire um, frame here. I just wanted to show you guys the game. Then what I'll do is I'll probably go away and like play the game some more. Then maybe just do a review video. You know, obviously like first impressions review. I don't do like super super professional reviews and everything. But so far, this looks like the, this looks like a game I'd enjoy a lot. Oh, White goes in. No. Yay. You know, and they've even got voice acting for the um for the referee, which is pretty good. Now I need to work out how to put spin on the ball. Oh easy up the top. See everything is simple, I have to say. 
everything is pretty simple. Like, too many other people who are trying to make these kind of games just try to do things way too hard. They try to, like, make things over, over complex. But at least these guys have just stuck with a formula which I think works, you know? And, I mean, fair enough, if they try... If they had tried charging like m loads of money for this, oh no! If they tried charging like even thirty or even twenty-five for this U.S., I don't think people would have been interested. But for fifteen U.S., you know, an updated version of Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. I mean, seriously. This is all that you need to do. Because I think that was where that other... That's where the Jimmy White series... I think it was called WSC. In the very last game was WSC. Uh, yeah, and then before that, I think it was called World Snooker or something. The, I think the problem they had was they tried to go too... Like, Every year or every few years they brought a game out, but they tried to charge too much for the game, I felt, you know. This game, they just stick to a formula, 14.99. I mean, hopefully enough people buy the game. But the thing is, I accidentally found this game <laughs> on Gamersgate. I'd not heard of this game before. And I just... Oh, you know what? That is actually quite hard. This is actually quite hard. You have to be quite exact. Um, I accidentally found this game on Gamersgate. Seriously, Gamersgate like sometimes can be a gold mine for random games. Because I was just searching. I, I have this habit of searching on Gamersgate for simulator games. I found so many simulator games on Gamersgate. And I'm trying to aim a bit better this time. I found so many on Gamersgate. So I have this habit of going on there and searching for these kind of simulator. Oh, again, I missed again. I'm so bad. Um, yeah. So um, I was looking in the simulator section. One. This game was on there. And I was like, whoa. And at first, like, oh, nice shot, mate. Why the clouds? Why are they clapping? That was a foul. So obviously the game is not perfect, but hey. I didn't expect it to be perfect. I want it over this side. There you go. Let's put it right here. But yeah, like... Uh, it's funny that, isn't it? So obviously this game has has the mark, has a really oh, and I totally messed that up, didn't I? Okay, I need to play a safety then. Oh no! Can I still adjust where the can I still adjust where the ball is? You think? No, it's too late. Damn it! I failed. Okay, let's just roll up. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna lose anyway, so let's just go a bit more. Let's try something a bit crazy, shall we? But yeah, it's kind of amazing that you can find that I found this game just accidentally. They clearly don't have any marketing or like I had really never heard of the game. Surely they must be somehow trying to market the game to like people who like snooker or something. I don't know, because... It's a pretty decent game. The quality of the game is not bad for an unheard of game for fourteen ninety nine on on Gamersgate. And I think it came out quite recently. Whoa, yeah, I'm going to lose this pretty much. Because as you can see, I can't really pot. I did score 14, but most of that was fouls. But like I said, I do like how it's somehow quite challenging. It's not easy. And they have a career system where you do tournaments and things like that, which I think is pretty cool. Wow, that, yeah, this guy's going to win. Like, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy scoring. What is he thinking? Oh, thanks for that. I think he's just trying to help me out there. He's like, this guy sucks. Now, one thing these games do are annoying at is when you want to quickly go to the... Now, how did I do that? 
there was a way it just moved. I don't know, anyway, whatever. I'm, I'm sure I'll work it out with time. Put a bit of top spin on. Yeah. There you go, I potted a ball. Yay! Oh, and I'm on the blue. That was really fluky, just to let you know. That I did not intend. Now, what to do after? Because I don't think there's anything else. And I need to work out the keys. Surely there's a way... Oh, yeah, there's a camera, isn't there? You can actually look at the other camera to see where the other balls are. I must remember that. That's much easier. Now, I can't do that much with this, can I, frankly? A, a tiny bit of top spin to take the cue ball. Well, that didn't work, did it? See, I, I can imagine this game I'm going to need to really get accustomed to how hard you need to hit for different shots. Oh, and I forgot to... You have to remember to chalk your cue. I do like that. I like it. And I mean, I like the reflections, the texture on the, the snooker table. It's pretty good. And like I said, they have a career mode. When you play more and you get credits, I think, for winning games or something when you have these credits you can unlock more things like more cues and more like there's an auto chalk whoa this guy is good so this is actually a tournament match but obviously I'm not playing seriously I just thought you guys would rather watch me doing a tournament because right now the only other thing that I can do is um do like me practicing which you'd probably find boring but this is totally bringing back my <laughs> my younger days this is making me hark back to my younger days of playing I used to play these games first on the Amiga then on, on the PC I used to love these games so much so yeah wow this is craziness I'm getting totally wiped out aren't I but I kind of like it. I kind of like that I'm going to have to practice to actually get half decent at this game. Get in. Why am I saying get in? It's his shot. Oh, I should be saying that on my shots. I don't know. I'm all a bit crazy. Wow. So that's one frame. I'm not going to show you the whole match. That was just for you to see, you know the game see how it is so thanks for watching the video and if you have any questions about this game you can ask me in the comment section below so thank you for watching and goodbye